Hey everybody, uh, doing a little project today, uh, making a 21 inch buck saw or pack saw, whichever you call it. Picked up a blade and I'm actually going to go with some pine. Cuts and works easy and you know and I can treat it as well. But it does have a good amount of flex on it as well. And for my stabilizer I'm going to use a, a hardwood dowel. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to have to drill into it. Right now I just cut them down to size and I'm debating whether to make this a straight saw or actually have the top curl in. I haven't decided yet so yeah, it's not super important but um, gives me a chance to shorten up this and lose some weight as well on it. So uh, I'll get back with you. Uh, hey guys, uh, well here's what I've come up with. I'm using wing nuts to secure the blade in place and I do have to cut them down so I got that to deal with still. And I've used the dowel in the center which seems to be holding pretty good. I used another section of the dowel to tighten it up and I'm using just standard paracord and I'm only going with uh, one layer of it so I should be fine. I just went out and test cut it. Didn't seem to do too bad. Um, what I want to do now is round off all this here with a with a grinder so it's obviously so it's a better hold and uh, less corners to hit and chip the wood so it's uh, not too bad I'll tell you one thing that's the lightest buck saw pack saw I've ever I've ever held held so maybe pine ain't the best option but you can do it um, you know I centerize the stress on here where it's going to be pulling really hard and I also put the where you're getting a lot of tension right here as far out as I can get it so you got more meat on it to hold it and it's um it holds a lot of tension if I can show you so you see how much I've got on there and uh, of course I want to go through and sand it down and I'm going to throw a couple coats of Danish oil on it and that should help harden up the wood some and then uh, after a couple coats of that, just a thin coat of linseed oil, and then figure out how I'm going to pack it. It's, um, the saw is very flexible, so I can wrap it right around something if I need to, but taking it out is just as easy to, or fold it in half nearly. So, there we go. Um, done in 40 minutes. My cost, believe it or not, on this whole thing was $9.00. I got the wood at the lumber store, I got the dowel, and I got the blade all for nine bucks. So you guys that want one of these for your pack, nine dollars is all it cost me. So stand by and we'll see if I can get some more video of uh, the finish later on. Thanks. Alright, I've sanded everything down and um, you can see it. I did round the insides of this. And every every edge and corner is now rounded off and smooth, so uh, will give me blister issues when I'm using the saw. So now I'm going to do a coating, a natural coating finish of Danish oil. Um, probably do two or three, and we'll get some pictures when that's all done. All right, there's the saw, and I put my axe there for comparison of you know how big it is. So it's not too big, and it definitely don't weigh anything. Um, I have a sleeve for the blade so I can put that, curl it around the bottom of my pack and that's how I'll probably do that and wrap the rest of it up together so I'll put it together and show you that too well there you go nine bucks um, definitely a full size and I imagine I can get some fairly larger logs if I needed to that's not my intended purpose for this one though. Um, it's just there in case I need it, I suppose. Um, I do have a, uh, a more sturdy and larger one in the in my Jeep. But if I'm doing long treks, it's, it's actually kind of heavy. So now I got something more a bit lighter to pack. It's a nice option to have at the bottom of the pack. I'll take some stills. 